everybody, Jackie here with Kelly from College Recruiting Specialist. Hi Kelly, how's it going? I'm very well, Jackie. How are you? I'm doing really good. good. And, and I'm thinking back to my testing days mm -hmm. when I was getting into college. I did really well on the ACT, not as good on the SAT. Some kids are good test takers, some are bad. You know, what are the answers when it comes to standardized testing for college? Absolutely. I hear it all the time. Parents are concerned. My student gets great grades, they're a terrible test taker. And we're to blame for that. Right now, students are tested to death in school. They receive information in a class for a week, 10 days, and then they're tested on it. And they need to just recall the information. Standardized tests, however, are more about problem solving. They're, it takes more skill to be able to, to do a good job problem solving on a test where you haven't seen the material. Mm. There's math on the ACT that's from third grade. Wow. High school students? Don't look at it and say, oh, this is simple math. Instead, they're trying to create some complex formula that they've learned in the past year to use to solve that problem. Trying to recall that information that's fresh in their minds that right. they're learning right now based on how they typically learn in the classroom. Exactly, exactly. So standardized test taking is definitely a skill. And it's a skill that students need to develop because in college, they're going to need to take more standardized tests. If they go into a professional nursing, they're going to take the NCLEX, a standardized test. There are a lot of standardized tests in their future. It's not just this one time. So it's really important. A couple good things to know, though, is every school takes both the ACT and the SAT. Wow. So that's a huge help if you score better on one than on the other. So do they differ, the ACT and the SAT, and, and how they're, they approach the testing? They do. As a matter of fact, uh, the SAT had seen a drop in their scores for 18 years, and they revamped the SAT to be more similar to the ACT. So the ACT is very specific on the strategies, on the information they're testing on. And if students understand what they're being tested on, it's a lot easier for them to go ahead and just look for those pieces, identify them, and then be able to answer the questions appropriately. It, again, it's a skill that if students are taught the strategies, they're really able to do well, and they'll use those same strategies once they're in college. And these strategies are something they can be taught by college recruiting specialists? Absolutely, yes. Yes, we do a fabulous job with that. Our average student increases their ACT score five to eight points. Wow, so that's a huge jump for it's ACT. It's a huge jump, yeah. It definitely makes a difference on if they're accepted or on the scholarship money that they're going to receive. Of course. One of the other questions I get is parents often wonder, well, why do they even have to take a standardized test? You know, they get great grades. But the reality is that colleges can't keep track of every different school's curriculum. Nor do they know, oh, well, you're the captain of the football team, and I really like you. You're a great kid. You know what? You didn't finish the test today. Come back in and during your study hall, and you can go ahead and finish it. They don't know if kids are being given some special treatment, some accommodations, and so forth. So the ACT or SAT, that is standard across the board. It really legitimizes a high school student's GPA, because if they have a mm -hmm. high GPA and they're not scoring well, it can also work on the other way, though. If a student has a lower GPA and they score really well, it's like, okay, you were a smart kid, but you were a slacker in high school. And right. that's a red flag for a college. And the red flag on the other side may be that that curriculum needs to be adjusted or that the curriculum doesn't match the standardized testing, so mm -hmm. does the standardized test or the curriculum Right. may need to be adjusted. And Absolutely. Curriculums vary state by state, town by town. Exactly. School district by school district. Wow. There is a school district where uh, students are able to receive 10 points a day for homework turned in. The homework doesn't have to be correct. Mm. So if they're able to accumulate a lot of points, they can do very poorly on their test and still have great grades. But it doesn't really reflect their ability. So it's a disservice in the long term to the student. Yeah. So colleges are aware that a lot of different things transpire within a high school and they want to know really where does the student stand. And that's the importance of standardized testing. Exactly. Exactly. So makes it very worthwhile to help your student understand the strategies. It's not something they're taught in school. They're taught to recall information. But understanding how to problem solve, how, that's a skill within itself that they'll use throughout life. Yeah. 
Absolutely. So if you, um, if your child is getting ready to take that standardized testing, or even if they're early on, it's never too late to start planning and thinking about these testing and, and why these tests are so important, how they legitimize the, the curriculum, the GPA, um, and, and that, that the right fit for the right college. Kelly at College Recruiting Specialist will help you and your child, um, you know, find that right fit and be able to take on these standardized testings as well. You can visit them at collegerecruitingspecialist.com and get all the information you need there. Thanks so much, Jackie. Thank you, Kelly.